So hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a what's in my makeup bag from when I went to Belgium. I literally got back yesterday and just saying sorry if the lighting's a bit weird, it's really bright so I've kind of moved where I sat and things. But yeah, this is going to be hopefully, fingers crossed, kind of quick. So um, yeah, just to start off the bag that I actually took is one of those 3D bags that you get from British Airways when I flew to Florida like three years ago. Um, no, it was more than that. I don't even know how long ago it was. But yeah, it's just, it was the only thing I had that was big enough to fit all the stuff I wanted to take. So, yeah, I just took this, I suppose. So, first thing that I have is the um, Rimmel Stain Matte Powder um, in Translucent. I use this as like a setting powder. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I want to say about these. I'm just going to kind of go through and tell you why I take things. Um, next, I've got the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. I hauled this the other day and I love it. I have it on today. I think it just really makes my skin look nice and glowing and very natural and it's just so much easier to wear than foundation. You like, you just blend it and it's just... Using my hands a lot today. Yeah, really nice. Um, next, I took this, which is the little Clay Mascara spoolie yeah. thing from my Natural Collections Clay Mascara, which dried up and you know, went off ages ago. So I just took the little spoolie thing to do my eyebrows. <laughs> That's what you do with that. Um, yeah, and then uh, another thing for face, I took my uh, Revlon Color Stay Foundation. And someone asked me the other day what shade I have. I have 150 Buff. Um, or Sha. I don't even know what that says. Uh, this is just my kind of everyday foundation. It's just a foundation. Like it's not. It's not just a foundation. It's really good for controlling my oily skin. So if I have a really oily day, I'll wear this. If I'm just on a normal day, I'll wear this. And there's a lot of differences between these two. I find that when I wear this, my face it looks very flawless, but it looks very kind of flat. If that makes sense. Whereas when I wear this, I look like really glowy and like not too glowy. Because sometimes glowy on oily skin isn't good. But this this is good. This is very like just kind of like controlling and <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks less natural. Um. I took my MUA bronzer in shade 3, my MUA Shimmer Kisses bronzer which I use as a highlighter um, in shade bronze Shimmer Kisses, no, in Shimmer Kiss, I don't really know what shade it is, it's just kind of this one. Um, then I took my, May, not Maybelline, I keep wanting to say Maybelline for everything now, my MUA Professionals Eye Primer, this I talk about it all the time, amazing, beyond amazing, it's just undescribably great. For concealer, I took the only two concealers I ever really use. Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer, or Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, I don't really know. I think I've got the old packaging, so it says Collection 2000. And my number seven Instant Radiance Concealer. I love the kind of formulation and texture of this, but then I love the coverage of this, so I kind of mix them up a little bit sometimes. Or I just, depending on how much coverage I want, I'll use or whatever, you know. So... Next up for lips, I took both of my Rimmel Apocalypses. I have it in this shade, which is Stella, and then in the shade Luna. And I really like both of these. I like to. I found out if I put if I put like a little blob there, I can like blend it into my lips, and like it looks more like a stain, which I actually really like. I prefer using these for. But yeah, I really love the colours, both of those. Um, this is kind of like my bright lip, and this is kind of like my normal-ish orange lip, if you wanna put it that way. Next I also took my H&M lipstick in Being Perfect. This is, I have talked about this lipstick quite a bit recently. It is just literally the perfect shade for my lips. I don't really have any on because I've just got back from school. So, you know, not looking great. I haven't even powdered. I just remembered. I've literally just got in, got changed and started filming. But yeah, it's just a really pretty kind of peachy, pinky, pretty colour basically. Pretty colour. Then I took two mascaras. This is kind of like what I've been using at the moment anyway, just all together, if that makes sense. Um, Maybelline the Falsies Mascara, uh, Max Factor Clump Defy Mascara. Out of these two, I think this one's a lot more natural, but this one's a lot more... does something. Do you know what I mean? Like, it really volumizes and lengthens your eyelashes. Overall, I probably prefer this one, just because I think the formula's slightly nicer, and I kind of prefer the brush as well, if I get it out. I mean... This brush is like that, and then if I get the other one at the same time, if I have enough hands, they are kind of similar. This one is really weird though, because it's like, oh, I don't even know, you can kind of see what I'm on about. They're like really weird brushes. But I definitely, definitely prefer 
this brush and this formula so I probably would have only needed to take this one but I think it's running out so I took both just in case. Next on eyeliners, I actually took another eyeliner but I don't know where it is like that. Um, I have the eyeliners I always, always use. I have Scandalize Waterproof Cold Cajals in Nude and Black and then I have my Rimmel London Glam Eyes Professionals Liquid Liner. These are the only eyeliners I ever use and I love them all. Least favourite is definitely the black, but I kind of took a black pencil just for the sake of making a black pencil. Didn't use it, but I kind of thought, well, I might need it, so I took it anyway. For blushes, again, more th things I've been using a lot recently. Um, NYC, no, it's the Fashionista blush in New York. Is that, yeah, New York, and it's just this really pretty shimmery, um, very light colour. And then I took my Natural Collections blush in Peach Melba, which again, very pretty, everyday colours. I mean, I don't know how you could describe a blush other than if it's like a really super bright, weird colour as non-everyday, because I just think blush you can get away with wearing every day, if that even made much sense. Then I have one individual eyeshadow, which is in the shade 19 matte from MUA. I just use this a little bit for my eyebrows. Um, I just kind of like occasionally do just here in case it's looking a little bit sparse or... If it's going to look a bit weird, I'll use it. Then, for eyeshadow palettes, I brought my MUA... Well, I can't remember the name of this, I talk about this all the time. MUA Undress Me, and then MUA Undress Me 2 palettes. Um, yep, these two are my favourite eyeshadow palettes of, like, all time. Then, for a mirror, I took my Fashionista palette. I took all of the little thingies out, but I just took the mirror. If you can see yourselves, where are you? Where's my camera? There. I just took this um, this palette because I really like the mirror on this. I just think it's really easy to kind of like prop up and you can look at just stuff. But I didn't end up using it because there was loads of mirrors on the room that we were staying in anyway. So yes, that's all of the makeup that I took. I'll just quickly do brushes. I took both of my Real Techniques little cases and then I just filled them up with brushes. So for I'll just kind of go along the case because it's probably the easiest way to do this. I took my um, Deluxe Crease brush from Real Techniques. Two of my Superdrug own brand brushes, a, what is this brush, accent brush from Real Techniques, which is what I use to smudge up my eyeliner, the eyebrow brush, no, the brow brush from Real Techniques, this is the E7 brush from MUA, which is just a, I'll kind of poke it up top so you can see, slanted eyeliner brush, and then the base shadow brush from M, no, Real Techniques. Those are all of the brushes that I took for my eyes. Then for my face, these are ones that are kind of out because I used them this morning. MUA F4 brush. Where can I put it? Um, a light beveled blush brush. Real Techniques contour brush. And then I just took the rest of the ones from the kit. So the buffing brush, pointed foundation brush, and the detailer brush. So that's everything that I took with me makeup wise to um, Belgium. And if you want me to, I can do a skincare version of this. I did take quite a lot of kind of like wash bag version of this, should I say. Took quite a lot as well. I was only there for four days, but I probably managed to take enough to sink a ship. So, you know, but that's kind of what I do. I overpack for everything. And I don't know if you know, you can't see my suitcase. It's at the other end of my bed. But I haven't even unpacked yet. And I'm really dreading that job because I think it's going to be quite hard but anyway i will see you next time thank you so much for 600 subscribers i just wanted to add this on in the end i got it whilst i was in belgium and i was looking on my phone and i couldn't respond to any of your comments whilst i was there because i didn't have my laptop with me so i didn't have my phone and it's just so hard to do it on my phone so i was just like no i can't do it but um yes thank you so much for watching and for 600 subscribers it really means a lot to me and yeah so i will see you next time um